So I ask you, the world is changing. The world is changing. We're moving to a different world where the customers want different things. You have, now have to create a sus subscription experience that reinvents your industry. There's a whole set of new things that you need to think about. What is the system? What is the system that allows you to do what you do? What is the system that allows you to recreate the world, reinvent the world around a new subscription experience? Is it ERP? Is it ERP systems? No, it's not ERP systems. ERP systems don't let you do this. ERP systems were created for a world where you're building stuff, where you're manufacturing stuff, where you want to track, track gross margins, and you're managing supply chains, and you've got to figure out how many units of inventory you have. And where is it? Is it in the factory? Is it on the trucks? Is it in the retail stores? Right? ERP systems were built for a completely different world. ERP systems don't understand anything about customers, relationships, or experiences. Is it your CRM application? Is it your CRM application? Well, a little bit, right? And a lot of you are on this journey, a CRM journey, where you're putting in Salesforce, you're putting in Zendesk, right? And you're finding, you know, I can get more intimate with my customers. I understand more about my customers. I'm driving a transformation in my Salesforce. I'm driving efficiencies in my call center. And I've redefined the relationship. I have better customer service now for my customers. And CRM is helping me transform that. But CRM is not about reinventing your business. CRM doesn't allow you to reinvent your business. It doesn't give you a different way to price and package your services. It doesn't track all these different important touch points like billings and payments and amendments and subscriptions. CRM is not sufficient. CRM needs to be completed with something else. And that thing is relationship business management. That is what we announced two years ago as relationship business management. Relationship business management is what gives you the commerce, the finance, and the billing capabilities. So you can do all the things that you need to do as you design your subscription experience. Relationship business management gives you the capability to have tailored pricing and packaging, to craft a subscription journey, to carry that subscription journey, that, that context of the customer from channel to channel to channel. It's what allows you to turn billing and payments into these branded touch points that are really important for that experience that you're building. It allows global payments anywhere, anytime, any payment method. It scales, it automates whether you have 10 customers today, 100 customers today, 1,000, a million, 10 million. And it gives you a whole new way of thinking about finance that is appropriate for this new business model. Relationship business management is what allows you to create your subscription experience. It's what allows you to create your subscription business, your experience. Our relationship business management, RBM, is what allows you to reinvent your company, reinvent your product, reinvent your industry, and reinvent the world. This is what we've been building. This is what we've been building. This is what we call Z Business. We've been building it now for six years. We've been building Z Business as the world's first relationship business management with the commerce capabilities, with the finance capabilities, with the billing capabilities, and completely integrated. Completely integrated because that is what gives you the flexibility to reinvent your businesses. So you don't hit a situation where I want to change my pricing. I've got to go retool my billing system. I need to change the way I do revenue recognition because it's a new world. The auditors are helping us figure it out. They're changing the rules as we speak but now I've got to go change my billing system. Oh, I'm going into a new country. I want to support a new payment method. Now I've got to go back and change my commerce systems. I've got to change my billing systems, and I've got to change my financial systems. Oh, I've got a new product. I've acquired a new customer. Oh, gosh, now I've got to go back. Relationships business management with integrated commerce, billing, and finance is what allows you to make changes, new tax regimes, new payment methods, new revenue recognition rules, new pricing mechanisms without having to worry about all the other interconnected parts. We've been building relationship business management, Z business, for the last six years, and we're not stopping. We're not stopping. In this conference, we have 50 new features that we want to talk about, 50 new features that we are going to talk about tomorrow. In tomorrow's keynote, we're going to go through the 50 features and across the product sessions that are scattered throughout the conference today and tomorrow, we will go deep dive into new commerce features, new billing features, and new finance features for the subscription economy. But today, for the rest of this morning, I want to talk about something just a little different. I want to talk about scale. I want to talk about scale, because this is what we're hearing from you. We had a major media company come to us a few months ago that says, we're about to do a big launch, and we expect to see 1,000 transactions per second. 1,000 transactions per second, and we're a little worried you can't handle the load, because your peak right now is measured in the hundreds. And we said, look, we measure our peak against Amazon. 
Amazon only had 300 transactions per second in Black Friday. And you think you're going to go to 1,000? We think we're going to go to 1,000. And so what can we do? And so we scaled up our system in order to meet their needs. But this is what you're telling us. This is what you're telling us. If you're designing subscription experiences for a brand new customer, you need to be able to scale up to your peak demands in very, very little notice. I want to talk today about control because this is what we're hearing from you. A lot of you guys are coming to us and saying, you know, we're not a one product company. We're a multiple product company. We have multiple products. We have multiple regions. We have multiple divisions. We're acquiring companies. You heard Adobe's acquiring companies, right? We're a, we're a big, complex company. We need control. We can't have person in this business unit accidentally generate bills, actually take payments for this business unit. We can't have the Europeans accidentally do things in the US customer base. We can't have this product manager actually change the price for this product manager. We need a set of controls in order to make this work. We need security because we are a well-known company. We are a target, no pun intended. We are a target, and there's hackers out there looking at us. We've got the target bullseye on our back, right? And we need to know if the hackers are coming in, if they're trying to steal our personal information, if they're trying to steal our data, right? That we have protection, we have confidence, we have the ability to protect our companies. And finally, we need coexistence. We need coexistence. Now, those of you guys that have been to subscribe before, those of you guys that know a little bit about me, you know one of my favorite topics is the death of ERP, right? I love talking about the death of ERP. Well, Gartner disagrees with me. Gartner says, ERP is not dead. ERP is almost dead. It's almost dead. That's what Gartner's saying. And as I first, I was like, okay, come on, dead, almost dead. What's the difference? But then I stood back and I said, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know, ERP is not almost dead, it's dying. It's like that character in a movie that you shoot and he doesn't die right away. He gets up, he's got a big speech, he's like, go tell my wife this and go tell my kids I love them and it's a 15 minute death scene, right? That's what ERP is like and that's what you tell us. You're telling us that, look, I've, I've spent millions, I've spent 10 millions, I've spent hundreds of million dollars on Oracle. I've spent $100 million on SAP. I've hooked all my systems up to it. This is my system of record. This is my standard. It is not going away. It is not going away. I've got product businesses. I get the subscription thing, but I've got an existing business, an existing customer base that I need to manage. I need coexistence. I need you to coexist RBM with ERP systems because ERP is still around today.